Hey guys, so I just kinda wanna chat about some general tips I have for new wedding photographers out there. So here's five general tips for wedding photographers. I'm gonna go over poses, prompts, and a couple other things you, know, you might not quite think of. So for tip number one, prompt instead of pose. What do I mean by that? When you're first getting into photography, I feel like, or at least I struggled with posing couples in a very natural way. I was basically telling them exactly what to do and being very rigid with it. And you know, it does work a lot of the times and sometimes you need to do that. But I quickly started, you know, shying away from that style more and do this thing called prompting. Prompting is basically like mini directing, if you will. Pretend like you're a director in a movie and you're telling your actor or actress what they need to do for the shot. Well, you can still do that for photography as well. You come up with prompts like, you know, look away from the camera, look at the camera, look up at each other, give the bride a spin. And you can even give them like an elongated directive. One I like to do is have the bride walk in front of the groom, the bride holding the groom's hand, and kind of guide the groom up a path, a set of stairs, a bridge, or whatever your environment is for where you're shooting your wedding. And then let them know in advance that you're gonna do things like have them look back at each other, quickly lean in for a kiss, quickly stop, spin your bride or what have you. And then before they start jumping right into it, you're gonna tell them, all right, I'm gonna back up, get ready for the shot. I'm gonna count down from three to one. And on one, you're gonna go. So as they're walking towards you, you're backing up, following them, giving them prompts, like look at each other, give her a spin, uh, look back at me, look off to the distance. And the goal of this is to get more candid, natural looking shots. And it's something I've definitely largely incorporated into my wedding photography. Tip number two, know your focal length. This is something that I did wrong when I first started. Let me show you what I mean. So I am, you know, this far away from you, or wherever that, I mean, like you can't really see it. But anyways, I'm that far away from you. And I have a camera lens, this is a 2470, which honestly is a great all around camera lens, especially for wedding photography. But you have to remember, shooting in 70 millimeters for portraits is a lot more pleasing to the eye than 24 millimeters, unless you're doing something, you know, artistic where you're trying to get a wide shot of like a bridge and you're, you, know, you don't mind if the sides are distorted or like making it look cool. That's a little more artsy side. But in typical portrait photography fashion, shooting in 70 millimeters or 85 millimeters you have it, it's a lot better. So what I was doing at the beginning was zooming in and out instead of walking back and forth for the shot. So if I'm here to you and I'm too close on my lens, I would just simply go wide. But what you actually should be doing is cranking this up to 70, as long as you have the distance behind you, walking back to get your couple in frame and then taking the shot. It's going to give their face a much better compression. Uh, 85 millimeters is definitely the way to go. Have an 85 millimeter prime and you have the space to use it, use that. But 70 millimeters is fine enough. But I just want to stress, if you have a zoom lens like this, don't get in the habit of zooming in and out. Instead, move your person to get the shot you want in the appropriate millimeter that you want to use. Moving on to tip number three. So you have to be responsive and attentive to your couple. This is more of a business strategy tip. And honestly, weddings are stressful enough. You don't want to be go seeing your clients at all. I try and get back to my clients as fast as I possibly can. Communication is so important leading up to the wedding. So you know all the events, um, all the shots, you don't wanna miss any shots or group photos or ideas like if they're doing a first look. Communication is absolutely key. So you just really gotta keep that in mind. Don't get too focused on the photography. It's probably honestly like 20-ish percent communication. So just keep that in mind. You wanna be very vocal with your couple. And that leads right into tip number four, which is honestly my personal favorite tip, is try and be friends. So like, think about this. If you're getting a photographer and you're going out to shoot a wedding and you're meeting for the first time, very naturally, most people would be at least a little bit uncomfortable. And that comfort level is gonna show up in the lens. So really keep in mind, and honestly, this has to be genuine. You don't have to fake it. I don't fake it. I love my couples. Be friendly with them. Take an interest in what they do for a living. Get to know them. Understand what their vibe is and their style. And then incorporate that and meld that into your own style. And that bond you get with your couple is gonna make them more relaxed and honestly result in a lot better photography. And lastly, tip number five, this is a cleanup tip. Always try and get your couple a sneak peek of their photos, the day of if you can, because that's really cool, and they're like, oh my God, I got a sneak peek already. Or at the very most, two days after. The photo editing process is a very, very long process. And if you're in a season like fall where you have multiple weddings every week, clients might not get their photos from two to four weeks or whatever your schedule you communicate with your clients with. Again, communication, key. Let them know how long it's gonna to take to get their photos before they sign that contract. 
and sticked to that timeline. But again, giving them that sneak peek, a few photos, I'm not talking a ton, you know, anywhere from four to 10, so they can share with their friends and family the day after they get married of this big momentous event in their life. And trust me, it's, it's something I absolutely make a point for myself to do as fast as possible. And I think everyone should as well. Anyways, I hope these tips help you out. If you have any questions about photography, wedding photography, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. I, I'd love to help you out. I'd love to start a discussion. Anything you need, ask a boy. And even if I don't know it, I'll try and research it and figure it out for you. If you'd like this video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Until next time, I'll catch you in the next one.